From the moment we are born, the narrative of our lives begins to unfold, shaping our identity. We are assigned a name upon entering this reality, entering a world where societal norms and expectations mold us. We are taught what to think and how to behave, leading to the formation of what we perceive as our personality, the outward expression of ourselves. Throughout life, we cling to labels, desires, emotions, beliefs that define who we are. Yet if asked to describe ourselves, we realize much of what we would say could change at any moment. Everything we claim as part of ourselves is just a piece of the story we have created, a story that doesn't necessarily define our true essence. A spiritual journey is a profound yet challenging experience for almost everyone, as it forces us to confront the illusions we have built around ourselves. Everything we thought we knew begins to unravel, requiring us to let go of deeply ingrained beliefs rather than acquire new ones. The ego, which holds our identities together, resists this process fiercely. It clings to the familiar fearing its own dissolution if we release our attachments. This resistance makes change seem difficult, as the ego fights to maintain control and preserve its perceived reality. When examining the nature of the ego, we realize it's merely a conceptual construct. Thoughts arise spontaneously, and our identification with them creates the illusion of a self who is thinking those thoughts. The ego itself is just another narrative we have crafted. But the good news is that once we realize it, we reawaken to our true creative power. We can rewrite the narrative we want. There exist numerous stories of people who face significant adversity or were born into impoverished backgrounds, yet managed to overcome these challenges and achieve remarkable success later in life. They went on to accomplish great feats and leave a lasting impact on the world. The ego isn't inherently bad. It's necessary for our survival in this world and acts as our interface with the external reality. However, it's essential to be mindful of it and not become blindly attached to it as the ultimate truth. Instead, we should see it as our avatar in this life, our player in the game of existence. The concept of ego is tightly linked to our self-concept, defining how we perceive ourselves and the internal narratives we construct. It serves as the lens through which we view our identity, shaping our beliefs, values, and sense of worth. The stories we tell ourselves about who we are, our capabilities, and our place in the world are deeply intertwined with the ego. This self-concept is not static but dynamic evolving over time as we navigate life experiences and interactions with others. It encompasses our strengths and weaknesses, aspirations and fears, successes and failures, all contributing to the complex composition of our identity. However, this attachment to the self-concept can also limit our growth and hinder our ability to embrace change. When we become overly identified with our ego-driven stories, we may resist alternative perspectives and remain trapped in a repetitive cycle. The ego plays a pivotal role in maintaining the self-concept, often defending and reinforcing it against perceived threats or challenges. It seeks validation and affirmation, striving to uphold a coherent narrative that aligns with our image of ourselves. Self-concept refers to how we perceive ourselves in relation to both our internal world and the external environment. For instance, we might feel confident and trust in our abilities at work, naturally believing in our capacity to successfully complete tasks. Our daily thoughts effortlessly affirm this belief, shaping our self-concept as capable and successful professionals. Before becoming aware of our power and truly putting it into practice, we may have various self-concepts for different aspects of our lives we might perceive ourselves as capable in work, successful in relationships, healthy, and generally happy, yet struggle with money. In such a scenario, 
Our self-concept works in our favor in most areas, except for our self-concept regarding finances. We develop our self-concept through the repetition of thoughts. A thought arises, we experience it in our reality, and that evidence reinforces our self-concept. Each thought we entertain, whether beneficial or not, strengthens our perception of ourselves. As previously discussed, many of these thoughts arise spontaneously, and when we latch onto them and focus our attention, we inadvertently integrate them into our lives, further solidifying our self-concept. Our self-concept is dynamic, constantly changing and evolving with every thought entertained in our conscious mind. It's crucial to remain aware of our self-concept in all life aspects, particularly as the architect of our own reality. Once we grasp that everything originates within us, acknowledging our role as the creator of our life, our self-concept opens up to infinite possibilities. How can we alter our self-concept? The key lies in repetition, through consistent practice and persistence. By adopting a disciplined mental diet, controlling our inner conversations, we can bring about the desired change in our self-concept. This simple yet powerful process enables us to shape and redefine our self-concept, paving the way for a life of unlimited opportunities. The key lies in mastering control over our inner conversations. But what exactly is a mental diet? It's more than just observing our thoughts and dismissing opposing ones. A strict mental diet involves consciously recognizing our thoughts and swiftly intercepting any contradictory ones, replacing them with their opposites. Given that your habitual thinking has been ingrained for an extended period, altering it requires repetition, practice, and unwavering persistence. Your current self-concept developed through the continuous repetition of thoughts, becoming as ingrained as breathing. Reigning in your mind becomes surprisingly swift once you commit to a strict mental diet. In less than a week, your entire self-concept undergoes a transformative shift. As you consistently adhere to this disciplined approach, catching and transforming opposing thoughts becomes your second nature. Over time, you naturally come to see those disempowering thoughts as mere falsehoods and the transformed thoughts seamlessly replace the previously ingrained disempowering patterns. It's time to rein in your mind, to be purposeful with your thoughts. Now that you understand you are the driving force, the source of both your struggles and triumphs, your suffering and success, discard the victim mentality. Abandon frustration and impatience. Cease blaming external factors. Such actions relinquish your power and obscure your divine essence. Consider for a moment what remains when you strip away thoughts, labels, and judgments. What persists when you release the need to shape this moment according to preconceived notions? The truth of this experience transcends language. It simply is. As we release attachments to emotions like fear, anxiety, and depression, we come to understand that they are merely narratives created by the mind, illusions that distort our perception of reality. Consider fear, for instance, the root of many emotional experiences. As it arises, accompanied by physical sensations, the mind spins tales of potential outcomes, ensnaring us in its illusion. Yet the reality we perceive is often far removed from the truth. The only distinction between us lies in our internal experiences. Our thoughts and emotions manifest uniquely within each of us. However, when we release resistance to these sensations, particularly those stemming from fear, and instead observe them impartially, a shift occurs. When we step back and witness what's unfolding, and relinquish belief in these narratives, we begin to dismantle the stories that bind us. Facing this path may initially feel challenging. There can be moments when it seems like your mind is at war with itself, and emotional discomfort can become almost unbearable. However, hold on to the vision of the relief, peace, and joy awaiting you. 
Though the process of letting go can be painful, it is essential for our rebirth into truth. Pain is inevitable, but suffering is a choice we can transcend. The experience of transformation may feel like the collapse of our entire reality, because it is. It's natural to mourn the loss of our old self, and it's okay to withdraw into solitude for a while, and to undergo a period of isolation. It's the universe's way of preparing us for renewal. Now is the time to embrace truth and liberate ourselves from the confines of our mind's narratives and limitations. We are boundless, limitless energy, encompassing all of existence. Collectively, we are all manifestations of the same divine essence. There is no true separation, only the illusion of it. You are not merely living a life, you are life itself. Without you, there is no experience, no human character, no nature. Everything resides within us, not the other way around. As you undergo rebirth, these truths will become abundantly clear. It's a realization of who we have always been, beyond the narratives imposed upon us. Reflect on who you were before the world imposed its perceptions upon you. So why persist in feeling unhappy? Are you not weary of battling yourself and perpetuating the same patterns? If so, it's time to genuinely embrace a mental diet and bring discipline to your mind. The process is straightforward, but may not always be the easiest to adhere to. It requires a decisive commitment to break free from unhelpful habits and thought patterns. Are you ready to accept the challenge?